Yo, what's up everybody? Happy Friday. Josh Roybal here. I got class in about an hour, so I'll be heading down to campus. After that, jump right into a gear bag video, so check it out. Like, subscribe, throw a comment down below. Let's get to it. guys we're gonna go through uh, my gear bag here let's start off with the sticks first let's go weapons of choice first got my backup stick here uh, got the STX Eclipse 2 head on the uh, Nike Vandal shaft uh, I do use the shorter MIDI shaft which is kind of like more comfortable for me this is my game sticks when I use for uh, most of the fall so far, SDX Eclipse 2 head on there. Just really big fan of this head. Also, it took me a little bit of time, but I, I do string up all my sticks uh, myself. Uh, starting out playing MIDI and attack, I definitely have more experience stringing up uh, uh, a short stick. I always found stringing my own sticks was best for me because it's you gotta make sure it's right when you throw it. My short stick, this is what I kind of just shoot around with, pass around with the boys. Um, I have a super old Brine F15 shaft. This thing is like super old, super heavy. Uh, I got the STX Surgeon 700. Uh, this is by far the best head I've ever used. Super durable, super stiff, and uh, I really like the channel lock feature that they have on here. I tried to string it up using the, the like second uh, sidebar here. Uh, to kind of give it a, a, a different pocket, but when I just found that it was kind of, it made it had too much whip for me personally. But if you had like a lot of whip on your stick, you could definitely utilize those the second bar sidewall on there, and it is pretty sweet. So got those. See for my uh, MIDI gloves, what I use when I'm just shooting around. Uh, got the Brine Clutch Elites. I go all white, just like a nice classy look. I'm just a big fan of that. So stick with those, that's what I wear, that's what I used to wear, playing midfield. Uh, these are the team issued gloves that we have. Um, got these last season before I officially switched to goalie, so they're still really brand new. Um, but they are the Nike Vapors, they're pretty comfy. Mine are still a little stiff, since I didn't really get a chance to break them in before the switching. Uh, they got the gold Nike swoosh on there with the CU, that's kind of cool and something that I can hang on to. and and kind of look back on. Let's see, we got our bag, the CU Denver Lynx lacrosse on it. Um, pretty standard bag, pretty small, don't have a lot of pocket. We don't have any pockets on the inside, to be honest. So we gotta make everything fit in here. Uh, let's see, we'll start from, uh, we'll start with the chest protectors. This is the one I used last season, STX Shield 300. Super stiff, super durable, really uh, solid. Um, not the best flexibility or mobility though, so uh, other than that, this thing is awesome and definitely got a use out of it last season. Uh, this season, upgraded to the Warrior Nemesis Pro, and this thing is the complete opposite when it comes to flexibility and just mobility. This thing fits super snug and you hardly even notice it's on. So uh, this is what I'll be using for the, for the spring. and. Yeah, this thing is awesome. Let's see, going on to the gloves. These are what I used last season. Again, all white, got the classic, just kind of really classy look. Um, these are the Maverick Rome, R the RX3s, and these thumbs, they're awesome. These ones are a little bit beat up now. You can tell the palms kind of have some holes in them and stuff, 
uh, but definitely still gonna be using these throughout the spring. So this season though, upgrading to the Mavericks, the 2019 models I believe, and uh, the same concept, they got the torque lock uh, thumb on here which is super, super durable and ultimate protection. Uh, I got all black to contrast the all white, get a couple different colorways going for the season, you know, gotta look swaggy out there on the field. Um, let's see, working our way down, got, let's see, the goalie toolbox. If you're a goalie, uh, yeah, you know that this thing is like the most important piece of gear. <laughs> so can't take the field without that. Uh, we're working our way down to the feet. Uh, I keep my cleats in a, in a separate drawstring bag just because they're really dirty and, and they smell really bad. So uh, I got, these are my practice cleats pretty much. I have new ones that I got for the spring, but I haven't used them yet. Just trying to keep them nice and clean uh, for game time. But these ones I've had since high school. I got them for $8 at Ross. Super nice deal. As you can tell, uh, I don't have too much money to spend on gear, so I try to try to budget where I can. Um, I utilize the pockets on here. Got some, just some extra balls for doing some drills. Roll of tape, can't have too much tape. Uh, got an ankle brace, and uh, in this pocket I got a little screwdriver just in case you need to tighten up, tighten up your heads or anything like that. Last second adjustments or whatnot. Uh, moving on to, I got a foam roller that I use. Uh, before and after practices, get the blood flowing, uh, roll out those those shots, and uh, I utilize like the foam roller as like a little storage compartment. I got the, we got our penny in here, got our CU Denver la lacrosse logo on there, number 18. You know how it is, baby. And then we got I got a second drawstring bag that I keep uh, like an like towel, extra pair of socks. Just some dry clothes for after the game. You know, you want to change into something fresh. Keep your bag nice and clean. Yep, you got to represent the PLL. Be there one day, baby. You'll be in there one day. Watch for me. Watch for me. No, I'm just, that's ain't gonna happen. On to my favorite piece of gear, uh, and by far the most swaggy that we have, and it's our bucket. So, this is our helmet. We got the Cascade R. Uh, so we don't have too much money to put to our hel towards uh, our helmets and gear, so this is the only helmet we have. Uh, so we use this for practice, ball, and games as well in the spring. So uh, we got the CU logo on the side. Um, we got the gold stripe across the back with the, the city skyline on there. Um, we got our number decals. We got the Lynx mohawk on the top with the gold face mask. And makes it all look pretty, pretty clean, I think. So uh, there's been some talk of possibly changing up our decals coming up, but... I'm a fan of these ones, so comment down below. Do you think we should change them up or keep them like this? Let us know. All right, that about wraps it up for the gear back video. Thanks for checking it out. It's go leaks. Let's go, baby.